Welcome to Babyface Hills. I'm your boy Pops Griffin, and I got two out of my four guys with me. To my right, Menace Red. Yo, yo. And to my far right, our favorite casual <laughs> man, Casual J is in the house. What's up? What's going on? And you know what the Babyface Hills is. What we do here, we talk about professional wrestling, primarily WWE. And I'm not going to bore y'all with the intro and the long out. I am going to talk about... <laughs> And the only Ring General <laughs> Gunta. 600 plus days is I see. Is he the greatest? Is he the greatest intercontinental champion ever? Um I'm inclined to say yes. I'll say yeah. He has uh he's worn the belt and defended the belt like it's a world title. He has some of the best matches um, Church. of the 2020s with the IC title. Church. Um, yeah, I, I think overall, and he has got the longest reign now, so. Church. Honorable mention, uh, Mike The Miz, though. <laughs> Shout out to The Miz. Oh. Yo, The Miz is a real one, man. He's been sticking through this for years, yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. What you think, though, Jay? You think he's the greatest? Or? I don't want to call him the greatest, but as his argument, his resume isn't really. About 600 plus days. And like. Like, like Menace Red said, it's um, he's uh, he defends like it's a world title, and he puts on great shows, great matches every time he does it too. Yeah, absolutely, he does. No yeah, question so, about like, it. He might not be my favorite, but is he the greatest? I I can't I can't argue it. See, I like that point, right? So there's a favorite, right, and then there's great. I mean, you know, HBK has held that title, Macho Man has held that title, Bret has held that title. I mean, there's been some great names to come through the business. Shoot, my guy, Scott Hall, you know, hey, yo, he <laughs> helped that belt, you know, as Razor Ramon and did a great job. So, but Gunther is definitely that dude. But um, there's one guy in the, in the locker room who thinks he can dethrone him, man. <laughs> yeah, called it. <laughs> Main event, Jay. Oos, get him, Oos, get him, Oos. <laughs> Yeah, I like that segment they had on Raw, too. Well, I didn't like that they had the whole crew of Imperium run out the ring, scared of Jay. But I guess it, it makes sense to build Jay up as, like, a serious competitor. But it's three-on-one. Like, why'd they all run out the ring? Right, right. right. And it's not also, that's not very characteristic for Gunther, either. No, no, it's not. I tell you what, though, man. Gunther, like, had the fans, everybody was locked in, you know, tuning in to what he was saying. He did a great job on the mic, but... Once that, once Jay's music came on, the, the arena went nuts. I mean, even even Big Pat got involved. He stood up on the table, and was just wilding out. You know, like it was it was a party, man. Yeah, Jay Jay's super over. Um, I don't know if they'll let him win, but if he does win, then that opens up for Gunther to face Seth. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that, I mean, where does he go besides up? He doesn't just... Yeah, he can't go down, yeah. But because he hasn't taken a loss, can we get um, maybe a feud? You know, if Jay beats him now, you know, that that's all the son Gunther feels, you know, I'll, I need to get that back, or I need to at least beat you. It ain't so much about the belt for him. Maybe it's about, you know, making sure he beats him. I could see that happening. Which he you can't mean? just drop the belt and not have a not have rematch, rematch or something. Yeah. Right, and I think that'd be... A great feud. And again, another good call by the pod. This is something that was spoken about weeks ago. You know, one of the first things we talked about when we first came back on the air was Gunther and Main Event J. And, and with that happening, then we started seeing the pieces come together little by little. So I would say spoiler alert, but the wise man said that's copyright infringement. So my <laughs> bad. We'll just call it a good call made on the pod here. But Gunther's my man, though. I, I like him a lot, yo. I, I like him a lot. Oh, yeah. He could wrestle. Um, and he when he does talk, I'm like, okay. Like a true general, we just listen. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he told he told um Jay he'll beat him so bad that he'll wish that people could uh he would go back to wishing people couldn't tell him and his brother apart. Yeah, that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> that was cold, yo. And then oh, you know, being in the ring, um, with Jay, you really see Gunther's height, man. I was like, yeah. oh, wow, that's a huge height difference, man. So, 
I'm excited. I don't know if it's going to happen at the chamber or not, but um, I, I'm thinking it will. I'm not sure right. how this whole thing going to play out, but I'm excited that now we're actually finally getting to see it come come together. It looked like it's going to happen, and I, I expect it to be a really great match. Hey, man, and again, a good call on the pod. I think Jay would look good with that belt, even if it is only a short term. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just think right now, as you mentioned, Red, that he's getting over so much with the with the fan base right now. It's crazy. I mean, he's top ten in merch too. Yes, he mm-hmm. is top ten in merch. Absolutely, them Yeet shirts going crazy. So, you know, it's just a um, it's a good look. Again, the raw side seems to have it right, and you know, the other side is just <laughs> it's just a little messed up right now. <laughs> They believe in kayfabe for the feels. If you go off script, then it's got to be real. We don't lie, Chi, and still. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Baby Face Heels.